Finally, it's the time to react to this album, <laughs> BTS Wings. I promise to uh, react to this album, review to this review this album uh, back in June, I believe, when BTS dropped their album uh, "Love Yourself" tier, and uh, I really liked the album. Uh, wasn't listening though too much. But I was listening to uh, a couple of songs. I uh, I still liked it, as I said. And uh, it's time to react to this uh, older one because, like, everyone were telling me that, uh, oh, hey, like, uh, yes, these albums are good. Like, but the best ones, uh, but the best one is BTS uh, Wings album. So you gotta check it out. Uh, and yeah, it's the time. So let's just jump into it. BTS Wings first reaction. Let's go. Track one, intro. Boy meets evil. Okay, the instrumental is pretty good. The instrumental is nice. <laughs> I like the voice. You so oh, okay, not the sound. <laughs> he says something different. Oh, that's it. Okay. Um, cool. Yeah, pretty nice intro. Uh, I wanted to say also, uh, please let me know actually who is still uh, coming from that uh, first, uh, not the first actually, second uh, BTS video of mine, Love Yourself Tier. You know, who is still subscribed uh, to this channel? Uh, and like was uh, waiting on this video. Uh, sorry that I was disappointing you, <laughs> you know, because like uh, it sh this video should have dropped, um, you know, years ago, <laughs> probably <laughs> not years ago, but like uh, maybe one month ago or two months ago. But it's dropping now. Sorry about that, but um, I'm hoping that you're still subscribed, you're still with me, and you were watching uh, other videos uh, of mine hopefully and uh, if that's so uh, sending you much love from me in case of mwah. <laughs> yeah um, what else I'm thinking this light I'm having right now it's not the best light I will probably change it one second <laughs> Wow <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah 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 okay she should be good now I'm feeling it now is better <laughs> you know and also uh one last thing i wanted to say uh is that i will be reading the lyrics because uh, you guys were telling me before hey like yeah it's it's in korean you're not you're not understanding it but uh there are translations uh in english the lyrics so uh read them understand them you know like because of course they're these boys are sending you a uh, big um or even sometimes deep messages so uh, and you should be aware of them so uh, i will do that but it's gonna be like okay i will listen to first five songs read the lyrics i mean uh, take a break and then re read the lyrics of all five songs and then it's gonna be like from six to ten i would be just listening and then afterwards reading the lyrics so it's just gonna be like that okay separate by three pieces Everything is explained. <laughs> now let's jump to track two, and it's um, sweat, uh, blood, sweat, and tears. I think I heard this song actually before. Yeah, I heard this song. Yep. Track three, begin. I'm cut out, done. 
I like it when they include this EDM you know, electronic type uh, of music in their songs. It usually happens quite often, but it's just like, like I'm recognizing this van sounds uh, from other DJs, you know, and, and I like DJs. So it's, that's why it's really cool for me to hear this in here as well. Wow. <laughs> Okay, okay. Mm. Yeah. Yep, that's the one. <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> that's a good song. That's a good song. And I like the transitions on this bitch. Awesome song again. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I'm adding this to my playlist. Track four, lie. Damn, this one is quite dark. <laughs> Starting a, like a, a classical uh, song. What in the hell? Turn this up. Okay. Okay. BTS. Yep, another one to the playlist. <laughs> Track 5, Stigma. I'm understanding now why this is the best album of BTS. <laughs> this is better than what I've heard. <laughs> Not just sit in my uh, chair, you know. <laughs> like these songs are making me stand up and dance. Awesome. And uh, let's take let's take a break. Oh, I remember now. Yes, uh, you you told me guys before um, on Wings actually the songs uh, they uh, were not uh, performing them as a group, but like as a sep separate member had their own, each. Uh, own song probably um, other some other songs included them having like all of them you know uh, and we will get it, uh, to those songs still but there are uh, songs like Begin which has only Jungkook on it has Lie which we were, and Stigma which we already heard uh, Lie uh, was performed by Jimin Sigma was performed by V. Uh, it's cool. It's a co cool concept. I pretty, I like it. And uh, I mean, as you saw me, I was really liking the songs uh, which were presented by Far. So after reading uh, this uh, lyrics of those five songs we have heard, uh, I came to a conclusion that these songs are pretty much about self depreciation. Uh, you know, not having enough self worth and like. Uh, saying that uh, in, in a relationship right uh, so sh he was always blaming himself in this f not he but they <laughs> you know each of one of them uh, in the songs but this lyrics like they were blaming themselves oh like I wish I could have done better I'm struggling without you like you left me now I'm I'm here all sad I'm crying and stuff like that. Um, I could have done better again, as I told you. Uh, hey, please forgive me my sins. To me, <laughs> right now, I'm not in the mood like this at all. Sometimes, when we react this kind of albums, where you know, um, it's about love, it's about personal experiences. Uh, I started to talk about my experience. Uh, you, you probably heard a lot 
from me at this point if you have been watching my videos before right now I'm not feeling that way at all I'm not feeling like I should contribute into this conversation I should like say something about it to me right now I, I'm not in the mood like this at all so it kind of comes off a little bit whiny insecure -ish. oh and dramatized you know uh, dramatized a lot but I'm a victim of that as well when I'm sad when I'm thinking about like oh damn like I I did something wrong or wow no like why this turned out bad you know or why did she why did she like d uh, do this you know like why she left me like when everything was great no um in this moment it's like uh, I'm also a victim of dramatizing, oh no, like the end of the world and stuff like that, but really, like, somebody should be there <laughs> next to you and uh, slap to your back like this and say, shut up, <laughs> everything is gonna be fine, <laughs> everything is alright, you're dramatizing too much, <laughs> enough, look at yourself. <laughs> but yeah, that's why I always think to myself and say to other people uh, in these situations uh, that, hey, you should talk to other people you know uh, don't hold it in yourself everything this in yourself if you talk to other people they will feel you much better and you will see that it's not actually that bad and even it's if um, you know things are not gonna go back you know if you're not getting back with that person let's say uh, it doesn't mean that's in the end of the world it doesn't mean that life ends here you know you still have many many chapters to come and maybe the other chapters will be even much more impactful much more better and eventful than this one so it really just uh, one of the um, chapters of your life you know this experience anyway I still <laughs> I still talked about it <laughs> even though I said I won't talk about it oh yeah let's just get into it. It's an okay track, it's okay. Um, but I think the emphasis was more on the lyrics and since it was in, in Korean I didn't understand it you know like it was pretty dramatic instrumental like like the there was a build up like it was rising to something and like it worked well with uh, what he was saying but the thing is I don't know what he was saying so um, we'll read the lyrics later but for now let's get to track 7 reflection We got different stars and stories. We got different nights and mornings. Now the chingu guys in the chana. Yeah, I like it. It's pretty chill. It's pretty nice. Um, we will not see anything crazy going on right now because it's just a chill track. I'm listening, I'm enjoying uh, It's a different kind of fun. You know? It's more of a appreciate the sound and uh, maybe think about your, uh, your life, think about yourself, think about things, what's going on. <laughs> because the track is called Reflection. You no know, reflection on yourself. Right? Track 8, Mama. Okay, this mama track, it sounds like it's gonna be more upbeat. Yeah, this is uh, more high tempo than the other past two tracks we had. It's not DNA where it's not fake love or it's not uh, mic drop, but yeah, it's, it's faster, it goes faster than the last two tracks. To be honest, I didn't really like the track. I thought it was pointless, <laughs> unless they said something cool in in the lyrics. So, and I and I get the fact that 
probably they are um, mentioning their uh, mothers you know maybe they're um, saying something nice about them and I just sonically sonically uh, I just didn't like it at all it, it was not interesting track for me track 9 awake see this is much better already when you bring in really nice classical instruments like violin and you get this kind of nice feeling already in your chest <laughs> nice piano in the background and definitely beautiful voice yeah I feel like I didn't stress that enough before I didn't stress the fact that you know BTS are still great performers they always make these songs sound more beautiful with their vocals you know, because their uh, voices are great they can sing really well and they are very sweet on the ears yeah Awake was pretty cool I liked Awake uh, and we come to track 10 Lost Okay, I like that guitar, I like that voice as well, I don't know who it is, but he's doing a great job. I'm sorry, I can I cannot still recognize by voices every member of BTS. That was really cool, I like that addition on the instrumental. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I heard some even Indian instrumentals. You know, like uh, uh, instrumentals from India, like down, down, ding, ding. Like it's, it's in there. I, I like how, um, and it was more apparent on the last album of theirs, "Love Yourself," tear. Uh, they they can bring in uh, instrumentals, sounds, you know, s uh, music uh, from other cultures as well, and implement it nicely. I don't remember the name of the song, unfortunately, but uh, the song which had that uh, sort of Hispanic sounds into it on the last album, "Love Yourself" here was really cool. It was like towards the end of the track list. Um, that song was really nice. I really liked it. Um, and you know beyond that as well like there were other cultural implementations and here's like we're hearing this not only um edm uh electronic club stuff implemented in the songs which i really like as well as i told you before but also um things from other culture like um from india <laughs> so it's it's really nice it's really cool huh interesting so suga actually sang that uh song number six which was first love i thought first love was by rm because uh in in the song first love the the singing was really fast uh, like in the second part of the song the singing was really fast to the point where he was really like rapping and i thought R it was rm who was actually rapping so um, but I didn't know it was Suga actually and uh, the track Reflection track Simon which was much more chill uh, that was RM which is quite surprising uh, for me to be honest because I thought he would be, he would have been um, rapping all the time in the song but no uh, it didn't happen like that also I like the sentiment of the track 6 uh, by performed by Suga first love uh, I thought it's a really good Constr uh, constructed song, um, a really nice idea of uh, using uh, your mom as your first love, you know, uh, not using but like uh, <laughs> in, uh, stating that uh, your first love is the, your mom. Uh, it's really nice and I like the fact that how it was also implemented by the uh, image of this brown piano she bought for him uh, and that brown piano basically led him to the music industry because he was always uh, hanging out with that piano, you know, like he was always playing 
songs, uh, learning how to play piano. And also, of course, uh, he's also showing how his mom really helped him throughout his life, of course. Uh, which, you know, every mom does, uh, if she's a good mom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the lyrics are uh, not disappointing this time at all. Uh, it's, it's nice, it's really cool, I like it. Track 11, um, what do we have? BTS Cypher 4, okay. We're gonna get some rapping. Hopefully, and and the beat is yeah, it's rap style beat. It would be cool if it's gonna be like a trap beat. If it's good, there's gonna be a drop, yes. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, I like this beat. I would have been rapping on this beat myself. It goes <laughs> for five minutes. You know what? If it was three minutes only, it would be much better than five minutes. But I get it, like they wanted to show every member's worse and it takes a while. <laughs> Alright, Am I Wrong, track 12. Am I wrong? Mm -hmm. I like that jazzy feel behind the instrumental. Come on, slap me to my face with that fantastic sonical music. Yes. <laughs> track 13 by the way that was great that was great track uh, track 13 now um, 21st century girdle so they're bringing the hype back <laughs> by the last tracks oh. <laughs> yep. Definitely can uh, imagine myself uh, dancing in the clubs <laughs> in Korea. Track <laughs> And we have come to the last track, Interlude Wings. Yeah. They're saying the best for last. Yep, 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 yep. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, that was short and sweet interlude actually what is it interlude that was an interlude interlude is when uh there's a melody not not like and with like just uh little vocals presented like uh, maybe someone just singing ah, 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 ah. maybe like you know uh, just uh, like without words singing something 
uh, or just completely without any vocals, just instrumentally, you know, interludes, it's like that. Uh, something, not really a song, but like maybe a transition to something else. Like, um, but here it's, it was complete, fine, great song. I don't know why they <laughs> named it as an interlude, but anyway, uh, we are done with this album and um, it was a good album. It was a really nice one. Um, now, in terms of is it the be best BTS album? Uh, if fans are saying yes, it is the best uh, BTS album, it, then it is a BTS best album because I'm not BTS fan, so I don't know. I cannot pretty much say or rate what is B BTS best work because I'm not really invested into BTS. However, uh, from what I've heard, and I've heard uh, a bunch of tracks by BTS at this point because I've already listened to uh, three albums by BTS. Um, I would say that my least favorite is uh, BTS Love Yourself. Her, um, the first album by BTS, the first time I heard BTS was uh, Love Yourself. Uh, her, and uh, while I did like the album, I feel like this this album and the other one, the last album they presented to us, BTS Love Yourself, Tear, um, are better albums by BTS. Now, uh, which is number one, uh, you for already decided, for me, it's like an in between, I'm not sure <laughs> uh, which album I love the most, but I will say um, the first, uh, um, the Love Yourself uh, Tear album, I think it's shorter and more concise and more to the point you know it's structurally structurally just works better as an album it's much more cohesive i think than wings because wings while it may have better songs on it um it kind of feels weird that we have uh five dope tracks five first dope tracks and then from six to um, 10 uh, the middle part of the album like there is like it it's becomes much more chill much more like relaxed album but then we go back to potting you know and I just don't understand like why they decided that way you know like in love yourself uh, tear it was like it was flowing well the tracks you can understand why it's going in this direction, that direction, you know, in 11, 11 tracks, short and sweet. Uh, it was a nice blend of sad songs and good songs, uh, like the hype songs. Um, but here it's like, okay, first let's party and then let's have a break time a little bit uh, and then be sad and then <laughs> again, like, let's party and then we'll finish with the party. I feel like uh, maybe let's have all 10 tracks of partying first and then leave chilled songs at the end of the album because like you know when when you party <laughs> when you party in the club you go there and then uh, oh when you go like when you're in the car you're driving to the party you put some nice ass songs you know like uh, upbeat tempo songs you like you're dancing to it like you're getting ready to uh be dancing the whole night let's say right not the whole night but like maybe till 1 a.m till 2 a.m and then leave but um you're preparing yourself and then you there you dance to hype track but then when you come back t to your house when you're driving to your house back you you put already um much more relaxed chill songs at the end <laughs> so i feel like in this case in the wings album they should have put like more chilled songs towards the end of the track list but again it's just it's just me um, but this in this way in this order like I'm, I'm looking at my phone in, in this order it's also fine it was fine um, so yeah I'm just talking <laughs> pointlessly <laughs> at this point thank you so much for watching this video hit the like button like this video subscribe to this channel um, and um, uh, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be reacting to BTS anytime soon because like I 
you want me to react to wings i finally did react to wings now some crazy fans will say hey like react to every work of theirs they ever created but i probably won't do it i think so i don't know um <laughs> we'll see but yeah for now i'm done with bts um in this channel but if they react to, uh, if they drop something new of course we will be covering it for sure so stay tuned stay tuned um other cultures like brazil you know i'm still here reacting to Bra uh, brazilian songs as well um also of course american songs uh this like i re mostly react to american songs i might actually react to some russian songs if you don't mind because um i know russian even better than english um because russia uh, like we used to uh, i was born in uzbekistan and we know their uzbek language our my native language and russian which is which we know fluently as well we we have two languages in in that country um so and russian songs are pretty cool Uzbek songs like don't look at you don't, don't even look at this big songs okay <laughs> I mean it's 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 hard to get into but the Russian songs there are pretty nice ones so yeah we might react to some Russian songs so be prepared for that and that's it for this video thank you so much again comment below um, if what, what do you want me to react to next and also uh, comment below if you like this video please let me know uh, show me some love because I want to know like what you all thinking about what you, uh, like are you satisfied with my videos at all or not because like it's hard to tell without any comments like there, there wasn't many comments lately um, so yeah show me some love and I'll see you guys in the next ones goodbye